All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the second episode of Down to Earth Fishing Channel. My name is Fan Tran, and today I'm going to show you how to make a tangle free bottom brick for deep sea fishing. And this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. All right, today I'm going to use a mono, monofilament um, leader from casting, and this is 100 pounds. All right, so I'm gonna do about um, a setup for two hooks rig, okay? I'm gonna need about uh, five feet of this. <coughs> All right, so that's about five feet. First thing I'm gonna do is to get a uh, 50 pounds to 80 pound class. Squabble. And this is how I'm gonna make the knot for it. I'm gonna go through it. And twist around about four times. Two, three, four. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back around inside of that little loop that I made one time and a second time, okay? And from here, I'm going to lubricate this section a little bit so that when I pull and this section is going to cinch down, it doesn't damage the line, okay? I'm going to pull it. I'm just going to use this little uh, short section of the line to have the grip on the squirrel. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just going to trim off the tack end of it. What I'm going to do, I want to burn that little section right there. So when I burn it, it's going to get expand, reducing the chance of it slipping out of that loop. All right. Okay. So from here, I go down about, I said about 10 inches. Gonna get me this much of line. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist them together. And I'm gonna do this. Make sure you don't do it too much so the loop ends still open like that. If you do it too much, it's going to be really tight together like this and it's going to be extremely hard to put the hooks over it. All right. So from here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a loop over the main line about five times. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick out a little loop looking like this. And put this over that loop. Hold on to it and just pull down on the line. Okay, hook number one. Same thing. 
I go about 12 inches down here, do the exact same thing. Twist this together. And then pull it. Right? And we're gonna loop the line over the top of the main line. Right? About five times. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now, I'm gonna go to this section right here, picking out the middle. Oop, about right here. I'm gonna make a hole. Right, and I'm going to put this section into the hole. Pull it over. All right, now I'm going to cinch down. There you go. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna make a, a simple loop, overhand loop, about two times. One. All right, one, two. Pull it. Okay. Cut off the tag end, burn it a little, and here this is what the rig looks like, right? This section right here is where I attach my sinker. Right? This is where I put the hooks in. I generally go uh, to use the three aughts circle hook from Mustad. Three aught circle hook from Mustad. These hooks are really sharp and the size of it will catch me pretty much any fish. Um, I've used this to catch vermilion snapper. I use this to catch uh, sea bass. Also, crazy story is this hook will is big enough and strong enough to catch a amber jack which I accidentally hooked on a amber jack before and I was able to bring the amber jack all the way up to the top and that's about 45 50 pounds amber jack so you can always trust these hooks three odds in my reference but you can use whatever you want five odd seven odd one knot okay <clears throat> one two and that's what I mean. All right that's one thing important for me right here and people always do it wrong that bother me a lot um, you when you put this loop you want to put it from the inside out inside out and over the hook supposed to look like this same thing on the other one okay pull it tight the reason why I said inside out it is important okay if you know the uh, the physics behind the circle hook. What the circle hook does is when it get into the fist mouth, 
it's supposed to hang on to the corner of the fish mouth and then when you slowly pull it it will stay hooked onto the the flesh of the fish if you come from this side sometimes the hook stay look the hook stay like this and then when you pull it out of the, the fish mouth it it won't it won't hook correctly and you want it to kind of bent warp curbs in like this so when you pull it it has stayed on see um, the reason why I make this section is about only two and a half inches, two inches, two and a half, maximum three inches, is because when you have it too long, the weight of the hooks and the bait on the hook, when there is low currents, what it does is gravitation, right? Even with the, the, the water, it's gonna bend down like this. And the longer the section is, the more likely it's going to bend all the way down because it's not hard enough to hold the hooks kind of floating in the water. What happened is it will bend down and sometime it will lay over the main line like this and it get tangled, right? So I don't do it that long. I do about two and a half, three inches max. That's the length of that. Um, and okay, another thing is also important too. Sometime this thing, when you have it too long, it lay close. It don't have to be tangled over the line, but what it does is lay kind of low like this. So guess what happened? The fish will come. Sometimes you have a decent sized fish and sometimes they have teeth. And then if, if it lay like this, close to the main line like this with the bait, guess what the fish gonna do? They're gonna grab it, right? And now you're risking a chance of the fish teeth rubbing against the main line, um, <laughs> breaking rubbing against the main line, right? And breaking the main line. That's how you lose the fish. Okay. All right. So this is how I make my rig. It will stay up like that. It will not go anywhere, y'all. See? Vertical. And it does not bend down. With some bait, it might, but not much. All right, so that's it for the tutorial, how to make a tangle-free um, bottom rig for deep sea fishing. Remember, this is different from the deep drop rig, okay? This is not what I use for the deep drop rig. Um, but, all right, I hope you like the content today. If you like what I brought, please subscribe to the channel, and i see you in the next video. Bye-bye, and thank you.